My main YouTube channel is one where I row and talk at the same time, but I do make a few videos where I need to read from a script. After a few miserable attempts at trying to remember it, I decided to build my own auto cue. Now, not including the software, the MacBook, and the monitor that I use, the total cost of this build is seven pounds, around about ten dollars. So here's how I made it. You're going to need a cardboard box big enough to fit an A4 ring binder and whatever you're using to display the words. You'll need the A4 ring binder, an A4 glass photo frame, and some gaffer tape. Right, so here's what to do. So first off, get your cardboard box. Now, I taped mine closed first, okay, so that all ends were sealed. And then I cut a square out of the front, leaving a little bit of a lip all the way around to give it some kind of structure. Then cut a hole at the opposite end of the box for your camera to go through. And I do recommend making this as close to the size of the camera that you're using. Try not to make it too big, but that's where the kind of black cloth comes in because you can use that to drape over your camera if you do have a light leak coming in the back. Next up, get your A4 binder and pull out the actual rings from the middle. So that might take a little bit of work and please do be careful. Then remove the glass from your glass photo frame and use that as a template to cut a hole in the ring binder. You'll want to make the hole slightly smaller than the glass that you're using as the template. So please be careful there too. If you've got one of these ring binders that has the vinyl covering all the way around, you should be able to slot the glass inside that vinyl and then use your gaffer tape to tape it into place. This ring binder with the glass then goes inside the box and you place your iPad or monitor or whatever kind of inside that ring binder so you can lift the top up and then that's how the glass reflects the monitor. I then spent a little bit of time experimenting with where to put it inside the box, how much I should open the ring binder, and if I should actually angle the screen up at all. So do take your time over that, and then measured the distance that I needed for a piece of cane to hold the ring binder open at the right angle. Once I knew everything was working fine, I then used an entire roll of gaffer tape to tape all the way around the box to make sure it was nice and dark. And also that gave it some kind of waterproof element as being my studio that I use is outside and does get a little bit damp. As for the proper operation, there are a bunch of apps that you can use on an iPad, but I use my MacBook connected to an external monitor. The software I use is called Nprompt, which has a free version limited to five minutes worth of scrolling at a time, but you can also control it from your phone. Any questions about this, please just ask in the comments below. And if you're interested in rowing, do check out my Row Along channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.